Hi everyone, today I will show you how to play Epic 7 on PC in the best conditions possible. First of all, I need to tell you that the game is not normally available for PC, but this trick is perfectly authorised by the game's developers. Within the GeoMobi team, we use it daily to play many games, so rest assured you don't risk getting any ban or penalty if you follow this guide. Let's go. For this tutorial, you will need an Android emulator, specifically Bluestacks. Playing on an emulator allows you to save your phone battery and thus not reduce its lifespan, while also enjoying better performance and graphics. You can play just as well with your mouse, keyboard or controller. We've picked Bluestacks because it is by far the most performant and secure emulator on the market. It is, of course, totally optimised for mobile games, and Bluestacks is available on Mac and PC, with a minimum setup of 4GB of RAM and 5GB of disk space. It is compatible with Windows 10 and 11, as well as updated regularly. Let's move on to the installation guide for Epic 7 on PC. First, use the link now displayed on screen. You can type it in your web browser, but I also wrote it down for you in the description, where you can simply click on it. Then, click on Play on Bluestacks 5 in order to install Bluestacks Installation Wizard. Install it like you would any other software, and launch it. The emulator will now prompt you with a message to link your Google account in order to download your game. No surprise, just follow the classic connection steps. My advice is to use the same account as the one you use on your phone, so you can get your game progression back easily on the emulator. Now, look for Epic 7 in the Play Store and install it like you would any other mobile game. Launch the game and accept all authorization requests because the emulator is detected as a new phone. You can now log into your existing Epic 7 account when you open the game. Make sure that you've connected your save to an account on mobile first. If you don't switch accounts at this point, it will create a brand new game account and launch the Epic 7 tutorial. By default, there are some preset game shortcuts, so here is how to edit them easily. Click on the keyboard in the sidebar, then on Open Advanced Editor, which will now open the Command Edition panel. Click on the shortcut that you wish to edit to assign a new key to it. You can also move the shortcut around by holding your left click on it and dragging. If you want to add a new shortcut, it is equally simple. Drag the element tap spot to the area of your choice and indicate the key that you wish to assign to it. You are now set up and ready to play Epic 7 in the best conditions possible. Let's quickly move on to some small tips about how you can adjust the emulator's performance to adapt them to your own PC. To do this, you must click on the cog in the sidebar in the bottom right corner. Then, on the performance tab, you can allocate up to four processor cores and four gigabytes of RAM to it. If your PC allows it, and you wish to edit the FPS count, open the option High Frame Rate in order to select the number of images per second that you wish to display on screen. You can also edit the screen resolution. To do so, go to the Display tab. You'll then get to pick between three display modes, Portrait, Landscape, and Custom. If you own a powerful PC, you can choose the 320 dpi option to get the most detailed image possible. Last tip, Bluestack allows you to launch your game in several instances, which is ideal if you wish to play several games at the same time, or want to use several accounts on a single game, because I see you farmers. Close Bluestacks and look for Bluestacks 5 Multi Instance Manager on your computer, then click New Instance and select the Clone Instance option. Then pick two different instances and click Start to launch Bluestack 5 in two different windows. There you go. You now have two instances of Bluestacks up and running. All that's left to do is connect two different Epic 7 accounts and have fun. If you encounter any performance issues, lags or crashes, I strongly recommend that you check out our article in the description on how to optimize Bluestacks. The most common problem is that virtualization may be disabled on your processor. To check whether it is enabled or not, open the Task Manager with Control Shift Escape and move to the Performances tab, then to Processor. You will see right there whether virtualization is enabled or not. If it isn't, 
Read our article to learn how to enable it. That's it. This guide is over. See you soon for another video. And until then, take care, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell me in the comments how the tutorial went for you.